Hannah here with Queen of Diamonds. I'm here today to share with you my month in review for March 2024. So what I'm going to try to do is at the beginning of every month, I want to review the diamond paintings that I completed for the prior month and just kind of give you a, a quick rundown of how I felt about the diamond painting and the company and maybe just uh, show you some of the cool things that I liked about um, each painting. So I'm going to try to do that every month. I love watching other YouTubers month in reviews because I've found that I gain a lot of inspiration by watching them and I learn a lot about different companies. Um, I'm also trying to, one of my goals in 2024 was to try a new shop every month. So every month I'm hoping that I can give you a review of a new to me shop, even if you've had experience with that shop. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Anyway, I just, um, I enjoy watching other people's reviews. So I hope that this is enjoyable to you. Um, my first diamond painting, I completed five diamond paintings in the month of March. Now, I'm really kind of happy with that number because um, two of them are large paintings and the rest are somewhat uh, smaller. So um, I, I'm happy with that number because I wanted to finish March with only one, I'm carrying one project over from March to April and that's because I'm in an event the springtime, uh, spring with Sarah Mustafa event. And so that kit I have not completed yet. And so that's where I'm at with that. But I wanted to have everything else completed so that I was going into March with somewhat a clean slate. So anyway, let's just get into it. My first diamond painting that I completed for the month of March is this beauty. Now this is titled Springtime Blossoms and it's by Sarah Mustafa. It's from Diamond Art Club. You guys, I loved this diamond painting. I enjoyed this so much because there's a lot of confetti and they she had a lot of specialty diamonds. So she had um, two, let me see, sorry, I can't remember, three ABs and two fairy dust diamonds. Now, I, before I started Springtime Blossoms, I had never done fairy dust diamonds. So this was my first experience working with fairy dust. I had wanted to try them because I hear people talk about that all the time. Now, you guys, I love fairy dust diamonds. I do. I absolutely love them. They are a little bit easier to place than the ABs, but I think a combination of both AB and um, fairy dust gives your painting a really beautiful accent. So I'm going to show you also, before I show you that, um, Springtime Blossoms has 65 colors. Now, that was a record for me in color count. My highest color count before I did Springtime Blossoms was Glass Mermaid, and she was 53 colors, I think. Yeah, she was 53 colors. So this was a higher color count for me, but what I found out is that once you've got all of your colors kitted up, the amount of colors is really not that difficult, at least in my opinion. I think the kitting up is the hardest part of the higher number, higher color count. So um, let me just show you a couple of things with Springtime Blossom. Her the the placing of the specialty drills was beautiful. They have fairy dust diamonds in the butterflies. And actually, the ABs and fairy dust diamonds are just spread really uh, throughout the entire painting. But I'm just going to show you some of the areas. So there are some blue fairy dust diamonds here and here. She has blue fairy dust diamonds in her eyes, which I think is beautiful. If you can see those fairy dust diamonds there. Um, a lot of AB placement in the flowers and just kind of throughout the whole painting. I just think it, it was beautiful, beautifully done on this diamond painting. And I thought she was so well rendered. Now, Sarah Mustafa's artwork, especially Springtime Blossoms, is kind of, it just has like a dreamy effect to it. And I just, I like that a lot. Um, so I had a really good experience overall with Springtime Blossoms. Now, because it's Diamond Art Club, I had a lot of drills left over. And because it's Diamond Art Club, I didn't have a lot of trash. So she was very, um, very fun to work on. I enjoyed her a lot. And she's so sparkly. I just think the uh, final painting is so beautiful because she's got a lot of sparkle. And she's just a really pretty, pretty uh, diamond painting. So that is Springtime Blossoms. Oh, and by the way, the size on that, in case you were wondering, she is a 55.8 centimeter by 70.6 centimeter. Let me put her off to the side. Okay, 
My next completed kit was Paint Gem. You guys, I love Paint Gem. I have a new <laughs> obsession in diamond painting. It's ridiculous. So you guys, these are so cute. I had so much fun with these. This was the retro edition. So it's all 80s. And if you watch my unboxing, I go a little more in detail with the kit and the canvases. But I'm just going to flip through them really quick. I was so happy doing the, I was so happy with these. The outcome is so pretty. Now, um, paint home kits would make a really great beginner kit if you have people if you yourself or if you know of anyone that is interested in diamond painting paint gem is a really good place to start they are square diamonds they don't have any round diamonds that I know of so squares are a little on the more challenging side than if it were rounds but I think it's still a pretty basic um pretty basic canvases but they were so fun I think I worked up every canvas in about an hour hour and a half but I was getting interrupted during those. So um, it's hard for me to diamond paint without being interrupted um, quite a bit. So these were so fun. I just, and the amount of detail that they have and the creativity is just so fun. I was really impressed. Um, my daughters looked at these when I was done and they all, all three of them now want to get paint gem kits so they can try out diamond painting. I think because the canvases are smaller my girls are all about instant gratification and you just don't get that with the big diamond painting kits. So these smaller ones will give them that. Anyway, so fun. I had a really good time working on those. Um, so that is again the retro edition. There are so many cute editions. My girls want to get the fruit, the flowers, and the plants and intermix them. I think that would be really fun. Um, so uh, Paint Gem doesn't come with any ABs. And I didn't dress these up with ABs because I wanted to give my first paint gem um, experience just with the basics that they send. And really, you don't need ABs. Had a lot of static with these, by the way. So there are cut up dryer sheets in all of my bottles. But um, you really don't need ABs with these. I just thought with the flowers and the fruit, it might be fun to, to throw some ABs in there. I don't know. I mean, we'll just see. But I had a lot of drills left over. And... I didn't have a lot of trash. My trash was pretty average with this kit. Um, I really, you guys, I really enjoyed paint gem. So if you have not um, done a paint gem, I would suggest just checking them out. They're really fun. Now, so that was my second completed diamond painting. My third completed diamond painting, you guys, we're gonna, this is gonna be an interesting review. Okay, so this is from, um, Dreamer Designs. And you guys, I had a really hard time with this diamond painting. Now, so, okay, I've done a Dreamer Designs before. It was a bridge to cross, and that's a good size diamond painting. And I had a really good experience with that. Um, when I created an account with Dreamer Designs, because I was looking at some of their designs and I was thinking about ordering a big one. Um, I was looking at their designs and I created an account and it came up with a free trial offer where you get a free uh, trial diamond painting and all you do is pay the shipping. So I didn't really think that I should do it at first because I've done Dreamer Designs before, but I bought that on Amazon. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give it a try because it's been a couple years since that one was released. Let's see what kind of updates they've made. So I got the free trial and I was really excited to start it. I am not that impressed with it. I'm just, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was really disappointed. So first of all, the canvas material is kind of a harder, if you can hear that, it's kind of not a real soft canvas. And that's okay, I can, I can deal with that. I do a lot of canvases that are not soft. But I just was kind of surprised with their price range that the canvases would not be a little, um, a little nicer but anyway so and then the diamonds I when I kitted up everything looked great and they have two ABs in this one a white and a green and the ABs were really pretty and I was really excited to to do this one now this is called Butterfly Orchid Fantasy it is by Sandra Trubin and the size on this is an 11.8 centimeter or sorry a 30 by 30 centimeter 11.8 inches by 11.8 inches so it's a very small diamond painting so the original artwork is beautiful. Um, anyway, I started 
this diamond painting. And from the moment I started, I was so frustrated with it because when I poured the drills, I was being really picky as I am with my square drills about what drills I wanted to place. And it was leaving me with hardly anything. So I just got to the point where I would just place um, whatever looked decent enough to place. And you guys, some of their drills were misshaped. Um, some of them were not as round at the top as others were, and I couldn't multi-place them very well. In fact, my single placer wouldn't place them or wouldn't pick them up. I just had the most frustrating experience with this. Now, the final outcome is pretty. It's a pretty diamond painting. The drills are, they look good. There's a lot of gapping, which drove me crazy. And I just, overall, it was just not a great experience. I do love where they put the AB diamonds, and I think that the um, the final, when you look at it, it's pretty. I just didn't love it. Now, another thing is, see how this canvas rolls up on the sides? That is making me a little crazy, too. I think I get a little spoiled with Diamond Art Club, and I'll be honest, Diamond Art Club is top-notch in their quality, so I think I do get a little spoiled, and I'm trying to give Dreamer Designs benefit of the doubt. I wonder if I just got a weird kit. I would really love to know your guys' thoughts if you have done a Dreamer Designs, what kind of experience you had, because I, I'm really reluctant at this point to order from them, but I do want to order from them. They have some beautiful designs, and they're very rep like they're highly reputable, but I just didn't love this one. Diamond painting to me should be a relaxing hobby, and this was just a headache, and I did not look forward to working on this diamond painting. In fact, I dreaded it, but I got through it, and when I was done, you know, when I step back and look at it, it's not that bad. I just, I can see the gapping, and that was frustrating. Placing the diamonds was frustrating anyway. It was just a little bit maddening, but I do think it's beautiful. Now, I will tell you that Dreamer Designs packaging is really cool. They send their diamond painting in this um, bag with a drawstring, and it had, the diamond painting was rolled up over a foam roll. That was cool. For the most part, the wrinkles, it had some wrinkles in it. When I put it under a mattress, the wrinkles uh, came right out. But this just will not lay flat. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Their toolkit is in a really nice, soft, velvety bag, and I like that. It's just a basic toolkit. I didn't use anything in this toolkit except for the wax. The wax is good. I like Dreamer Designs wax, and I use the tweezers. They have great tweezers, really good quality tweezers. So that was... Um, the contents of the packaging that it came in. Here are my leftover drills. Now, I ran low on a few colors and I was getting stressed out thinking I was going to have to get into my own personal stash of diamonds, which I'm fine doing, but it's just been a long time since I've had to do that and matching the color can sometimes be um, challenging and so I was getting stressed out, but look how low I ran on some of them. <laughs> That's why I was getting stressed. So again, I didn't have a lot of garbage, but I had to settle for drills that I wouldn't normally have used. So anyway, and then other colors, I was fine. I had plenty of, you know, but I'm, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I do realize that I, I'm i used to Diamond Art Club and they send a lot of drills and I understand that. It's just their prices are comparable to Diamond Art Club. So that's why it kind of surprises me and perplexes me a bit because um, I would think that they're quality would be similar anyway but let me know I might have just gotten a flute kit I had a good experience with um bridge to cross so I I don't want to think that every kit is like this but I'd love to hear from any of you that might have done a dreamer design so that was my overall experience with this diamond painting so let me put that off to the side and we'll move on my next kit mm. you guys I can't wait to show you this one this is my absolute, <laughs> I love this one. So this is Rosia. Now, oh, I have a drill that popped off. Wait, no, I'll have to find that. Um, this is Rosia. My favorite color is pink. So <laughs> I loved working on this diamond painting. Now, there are so many different shades of pink, and I absolutely loved, loved it. Every minute I spent on Rosia, I loved. 
I even put off working on her a lot of the time because I didn't want her to end. <laughs> Silly, I know, but I didn't. I just wanted her to last. I started her March 4th and ended her on March 30th. So I really made her last. Every time I'd sit down to work on her, I'd do like half a section and cover the plastic back up because, or the canvas back up because I didn't want to, I didn't want to breeze through her too quickly. She's so cute. Now this diamond painting was available in, um, Square and round. It's one of those few uh, times that Diamond Art Club had both options available. They don't do that all the time. And I think they're actually um, not going to be doing it going forward from what I've heard. But this one was avail available in square and round. Square was all sold out. And I was kind of bummed out because I did want to do square. But um, round is beautiful. I'm glad I did round because super sparkly. I think that it would have just been fun to do the square because there's so much detail in this diamond painting. Even with the rounds though, the flamingo has a lot of detail. There are a lot of ABs in the flamingo. This flamingo had a beautiful hot pink AB that I loved. I wish I had the kit with me so I could show you. And one thing though, and it's not a problem with the original artwork because in the original artwork you can see it. There is a bug right here. And it doesn't come up very well. Let me just bring this up. It doesn't show up very well. But I think that's one of the situations where if I had done a square, it would have shown up better. But she's so pretty. I just loved it. So this is Rosia. Um, a lot of white ABs, ABs here in her dress. I love the detail of her dress. And you guys, the moths, I just, and I can't remember what this little creature is called. I, when I unboxed her, I thought that was a bunny. And I told my daughter that I, I said, look at that cute bunny. And she laughed and said, mom, that is not a bunny. And you guys will probably know what the name of that creature is. I can't remember. Loxolotl or I can't, I can't remember. Sorry. But anyway, I got some crap from my kids about that. But you guys, very pretty. I was really, really happy with the outcome of this one. She is so pretty. I'm really protective of her. I want to get her framed because the pink is so light around the edges that I don't want any dust or anything to uh, make her look grungy or dirty. So that is Rosia by Camilla Derrico. And the last kit I finished is another Diamond Art Club. And it is this cute little diamonds. So this is part of their little diamonds collection and it's a newer release. And I, I wanted something because I was going to make a beginner's video to diamond painting and it didn't work out. And before I knew it, I had the whole diamond painting completed. And then I went back and looked at the videos and realized it, it had cut out a lot of my video. So it, I wasn't able to make it work, which is a bummer because now I'm going to have to order another little diamonds. Oh, <laughs> Darn, <laughs> it's amazing that I have to come up with excuses to buy things. Anyway, so this was really fun. It's a partial drill because it's not a full, so that means that the whole canvas is not covered in diamonds. The sparkly white background is actually really cute with this image, though. I thought it was really cute. Um, this is called Butterfly Hearts, and it's by Coley's Creations. It's a really small one. It's a 13 inch by 13 inch, so 32.8 centimeter by 32.8 centimeter. I was really thrilled with how much color was in this small diamond painting. There were 36 colors. And there were four, yeah, four fairy dusts and two ABs. That is a lot of bling and a lot of color for such a small little diamond painting, but I think it is so cute. Let me see if I can get you a better, a better image of the colors and the sparkle. It's so pretty. So I really loved that. It literally took me about two days to finish. And again, I get interrupted, so... Um, if you have anyone that, you know, uh, is thinking about doing diamond painting, I would really strongly suggest this one because it's a partial and little diamonds in general, they look, there are a lot of, uh, beginner friendly ones on, uh, diamond art clubs, uh, shop. So anyway, um, I worked in baggies on this and I'm going to tell you, it's been a long time since I did baggies. I know a lot of people love baggies because you don't have to get down afterwards, but, um, I didn't, I I don't, I don't love it. I'm, I'm really good to not ever do baggies again, honestly. I haven't done baggies since the very first kit I did. And I've just gotten where I'm accustomed to using the storage containers now. And using baggies was just kind of a headache. But um, for the most part, you can do it if, if you're a beginner and you don't want to invest in the storage 
um, containers, it works, but it was just, for me, it was, it, it was a little bit, um, of a headache, but we got through it. It was beautiful. Um, anyway, so those are all my completed kits for March. I'm really excited to see what April, April will bring. I've got some, um, fun projects going on. I'm in two events right now and we're going to see how it, how it goes. So anyway, um, hope this was helpful to you in some way. And I hope you're all having a wonderful April, um, or a wonderful beginning of your, of the month of April and a beginning of the week too. It's Monday. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.